Hi guys, let's get Byredo for fall. A little play on words, but we're gonna be doing just that. So Byredo, which is a Swedish company mostly known for their fragrances, they did a collaboration with makeup artist Isamaya French, and they did a little collection, and we're gonna be playing in, testing out, trying out, seeing what the products are all about. Picked up a few things, just a few things, you know? Let's go ahead and get started. Hello again. Hi. <laughs> I'm Mo, which is short for Monique. Here on my channel, I test out, review, and share all things luxury beauty and skincare. If you're into that stuff, consider subscribing. And if you like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Guess what, guys? Today's video is a collaboration. I am working with some beauties, some serious luxury queens, and we all picked up some pieces from the collection. We're all going to share them with you. We have Vicky J. Vicky J coordinated this whole thing. Thank you so much for having me be a part of it. And I'm so excited to also be working with Miss Kelsey, Miss Kelsey Brianna J, Miss Kelsey Brianna Bay. Hello. And guys, Miss Michelle Wong. Yes. I am so excited to be working with these ladies. And I'm ready to dabble on in to this Byredo collaboration with Ismaya French. Let's do it. Let's go. This collection is so different and unique. They had this whole article on the website. And I read where Ismaya French was saying that she wanted to make something that was pretty much unwearable but she knew that there were going to be compromise. And I like to think this is a good compromise. So check out the products. So this launch includes mostly multi-use products. And what I mean by that is they have multi-purpose sticks, whereas you can use them on the face, the eyes, and the lips. They have a mascara. They have a balm, liner, and lipstick. Now see this cool, weird kind of looking thing? That's the eye palette that I was telling you guys about. This isn't out yet, but I can't wait for it to be out because how cool is that? Yeah. So I got my products in this like lunch bag looking thing. How cool is this? I'm into that. I'm into that. I like it. It's pretty neat. And it was all folded. Really cool. So along with my products, I did also get fragrance samples and they smell amazing. Both of them. I don't have a favorite. <laughs> they both smell good. <laughs> All right, so here's packaging. I love how clean and simple everything is. On the bottom side, you have your description of what everything is. And as you keep turning, you have, ah! And ingredients. Everything you need to know is on the packaging. But I really do like how clean and simple everything is. Everything came wrapped. But then well, you open by sliding your product out. And this is what the color sticks look like. Made in Italy. We've got an 18 month shelf life and magnetic packaging. And that's the shade Bobby, baby. So this is something you use on your cheeks, your eyes, and your lips. The other color that I picked up is like this purple, has a like a little iridescence to it. Listen, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna do a little, we're gonna do a little edgy avant-garde moment. And then we're gonna do a little toned down, realistic, something I would wear moment <laughs> in real life, not just for fun. The colors of all of these online were really fun, but I also wanted to be realistic with myself. I wanted to really be able to enjoy the product. So everything is magnetic. All the closures are magnetic. These are fun. I picked up the mascara and the mascara shape, the shape of this mascara. She's something else. It's cool. But I like the wand. I think the wand is fun. And then I picked up one lipstick. I love how the lipstick comes in like a little satchel. Just like this reminds me of the Hermes lipsticks. Look at this lipstick. 
Oh my goodness. This line is so unique, so fun. And I'll tell you, this lipstick is heavy and weighty. And it's nice and mag magnetic. The color I picked is like an orangey red. Let's get to trying these products on the face. So these are universal products. They're multi-use sticks that can be used all over the face. They have buildable coverage. I'm picking up product with my brush and then I'm kind of just blending it on my hand. I do have foundation, bronzer, concealer, and that's it. I'm gonna take my finger, just kind of warm up the product a little bit, and then apply it to my cheeks. So I feel the best way is I'm applying some of the cream on my hand. Then I'm taking it up with my brush and then I'm gonna just pat it into my skin. This is a really soft color. It gives a subtle little flush. Okay. So the other colors that I got, I think it's fair to say these aren't suitable for the cheeks. So I'm just gonna even things out and apply it on my other cheek. And I do agree that it is buildable because I was able to take my time and build up this cheek. So it's definitely a buildable product. And I like how smooth it blended into the skin as well. And I don't see it really messing with my makeup either, which is nice, of course. So I will have to wear this more but upon first application, this is nice. It's soft, it's pretty, gives a nice little flush. While we're at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my highlight. It's my usual, my Westman Atelier, because let's see how my normal products play with it, you know? Why not? Products are playing nicely together. That's a big plus. I'm going in with this like bronzy. That is so pretty. So this is described as a metallic bronze with shimmers. I'm gonna apply it directly to my lid and then blend it with the brush. It's such a pretty shade. I'm just gonna blend it. I wanna try it with my finger. I think I like the finger application most. The warmth from my finger is really working well with the product. Yeah, that's nice. A fluffy brush, picking up product from my hand. Just wanna see if I can use it to kinda of add a little soft definition in my crease. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. So you can definitely play around with these products in different ways. That is what I was trying to check out. Here's what we'll do. We'll take that same shade and run it in the crease of my other eye, and then we'll get nice and bold with that blue color that I have. So I'm just applying that in my crease. You know, it is blending quite nicely. They had a couple of blues. I wanted them all. <laughs> so this was a really tough one. But I went with this one. This one is described as a glittery purple blue with iridescent reflex. Look at it on this model. That's what did me in. That's what did me in. And we are going to be putting all of these on the lips. I'll swatch all of them on the lips for you. That is, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. I'm gonna apply it directly because I want a lot of intensity with this color.
I'm trying to make like a little shape on the eye. Well, that's fun. I say go in, just go in with it. And then use the brush to blend. Because you'll get the most payoff that way. Put this on the lower lash line. That's really fun, a little colorful wing. Yeah, I kind of played around with that blue stick to just soften up that eye so it's not as... This collection makes you want to have fun. So we're having fun. Let's try out the mascara. Is that mascara? <laughs> Very interesting. You gotta admit, the shape of this thing is quite interesting. Really like the wand on this. That's what really appealed to me. So it's buildable, humidity resistant, high definition, vegan formula, 85% natural, long lasting. Precision silicone brush can be used to reach lashes individually, enhancing and sculpting. Okay, let's do it. You know, that little curve, it kind of comes in handy when you're holding it. All right, so I'm gonna wiggle from the base. I really like this wand. Ooh, this is going to be perfect for lower lash. I like that the formula is not too wet and it's not too thick. It's a good consistency, the formula. I'm gonna go back in and let's see how it builds. I think the style of this wand allows you to build without it getting clumpy. I'm very interested to see how this formula performs. I can get into that. That is nice. Okay. Okay. Not, I didn't expect that. I didn't know what I expected. <laughs> All right, let's try out the lipstick. After I do the lipstick, I will swatch each one of the color sticks on my lips because I thought that that would be fun. It looks like the lipsticks and the color sticks have the same shelf life of 18 months. I went with the color Reunion. Reunion is described as an orange brown with a matte finish to absorb light and intensify the color. These are said to have scrumptious levels of color saturation that don't dry out your lips. But you guys, look. This is what did me in with this color. I love this orange red. It's like the most beautiful balance of orange and red, not too much of either, just like un perfecto. It is so good. Wow. That is the lipstick. I like it. I think it's really pretty. So because these are multifunctional, let's go ahead and try these on the lips. I'm gonna start off with the shade that I used as blush. I'm really curious to see what these are gonna feel like, texture-wise and such. Yeah, it's not. I don't love it for the lips, but as a blush, it's perfect. Going into that bronzy shade, the one we put on the lid. This is fun. I feel like I could use this on my finger and kind of dab it to make it super wearable, but I, I don't know. Why is this so fun to me? I like it. I really am curious how this blue is gonna look on the lips. All right, look, let's do it. Let's have some fun, all right? <laughs> yes. You gotta have fun sometimes, and this is how you do it. 
So I, I went in and applied the lipstick and I went in with that bronzy color stick and kind of just applied it to the center. That's how I would realistically wear these products. And I could totally rock either eye. I like how different this collection is. It's exciting. It makes you want to play in color and be creative and have fun. This blue with the iridescent, when you blend it, it's so pretty on the lid. I can't speak about longevity or creasing or anything like that just yet because so far so good. Using bolder colors as liner, as just like a little pop of color, is a safer way if you don't want to go all out with like a color all over the lid. I think the liner is a fun way to do it. And you know, hey, you want to get nice and bold? You totally can. I think the products worked nicely. They blended nicely. With my experience, I didn't love these by themselves on my lips. The formula, it wasn't... The formula for me didn't work well with my lips, but I did like them on the eyes and on the face. The actual lipstick, I really love the packaging and the formula is very comfortable on the lips. And yes, I did add the color stick to the center. Still feels pretty good. And I really like this color. I would definitely purchase more of these lipsticks. The packaging on this mascara is so fun. It's different, it's cool, and I really actually like the wand. And I like the way it made my lashes look. Can't really speak on how it wears or if it flakes, but so far, so good. The products were really fun. Thank you, Vicky J, for telling me about these because they were not on my radar. And I am so glad that I tried them. Guys, do not forget to head over to Vicky J's channel, to Kelsey Brianna J's channel, and to Michelle Wong's channel. Everybody will be listed and linked down below. I can't wait to see the fun looks that everybody created. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this collection. Let me know if you picked anything up. It's such a fun collection. I don't think I'll ever be able to get rid of this mascara packaging. Just the packaging alone is worth just holding on to and the lipstick. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.